वेलकम टू कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इंटीग्रल कंट्रोलर इन दिस वीडियो एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड इंटीग्रल कंट्रोलर फर्स्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक डेफिनेशन विच इज देर विद इंटीग्रल कंट्रोलर आफ्टर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ आउटपुट इज देर विद इंटीग्रल कंट्रोलर देन वी विल सी ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ इंटीग्रल कंट्रोलर with second order system then i'll explain you transfer function of integral controller with second order system after that we will see physical understanding of integral controller then we will see significance of integral controller and at last we will see how advantages and disadvantages are there with integral controller so let us begin this session with first agenda that is a definition of integral controller now you see integral controller means output of integral controller will be integration of input which is given to the controller so let us say we have integral controller over here you can see and if i give input signal that is e of t then output of that integral controller will be integration of e of t into some proportionality constraint so here if i say my output is m of t then m of t is directly proportional to integration of input that is e of t and this proportionality controller for integral controller is ki so my output of integral controller is m of t is equals to ki into integration of e of t now here if you take laplace transformation of this in that case that integration that is resulting into e of t integration is equals to e of s divided by s so that transfer function of integral controller that is output which is m of s divided by input that is e of s that is ki divided by s so that is how output is happening as per the basic definition of integral controller now let us try to understand this by second order system so here i'll be considering a block diagram of second order system with integral controller so first of all you just see the basic block diagram which is there with control system with negative feedback now in that that controller that will be integral controller over here so integral controller is having block diagram that we have calculated recently that is ki divided by s and second order system transfer function is omega n square divided by s into s plus 2 zeta omega n right now if you calculate this transfer function by simplifying it then you see ki by s and omega n square divided by s s plus 2 zeta omega n that is there in series so that is resulting into multiplication of this two term and this is negative feedback system so transfer function of negative feedback system is gs divided by 1 plus gs hs here hs is equals to 1 why the reason is this is unity negative feedback and if you place these values your transfer function that will be ki omega n square divided by s cube plus s square 2 zeta omega n plus ki omega n square and if you compare that with standard second order system that is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square then here you just see we have added one pole to the system by adding integral controller so if you add integral controller what we do we add additional pole with the system so without integral controller order of the system was 
with integral controller now order of the system is 3 means additionally we are adding one pole to the system means stability of the system will decrease because of integral controller this is one thing that one should keep in their mind now let us try to understand integral controller first with its physical understanding so it will gives you a bit more clear idea so here we have integral controller with which we give input let us say we have input with a signal that you can see it in graph here i have shown the graph now how output will appear in integral controller so see when we talk about integral controller output will be current magnitude plus algebraic sum of area covered with respect to time so initially if i say my area is zero so initially my output is zero now as i move further with respect to time area should get added with output see above area is positive below area is negative so as you move with respect to time if area is positive output will increase if area is larger with positive magnitude output will increase faster so that is how output will change and here you can see at this point area is zero with respect to time t then output will not increase at that point but after that point if you see area is getting negative means after that point output will start to decrease so this is how output is coming in integral controller so here there are few advantages and disadvantages that we should understand see in integral controller we add additional pole to the system and as we add additional pole to the system system stability will decrease but because of integral controller we can eliminate steady state error or one can say offset of the system in steady state output so integral controller eliminates offset or one can say steady state error but it also adds bit instability to the system as order of the system increases so this is all about integral controller i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video just write down your comments i'll be happy to help you by writing answers thank you